Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is me, the Tsukhafato, and I'm super excited about today's video. And I feel like I say that about a lot of my videos, but I'm just super excited about all the content I create. But today's video, guys, I'm super, super excited about it because once upon a time, I wanted to be a video game developer. So if you guys know me, I study computer science and I currently work as a software engineer, but I wanted to focus on video games at some point. I'm not much of a gamer, but I just thought it would be cool. So back in 2016, when I was 17 years old in grade 11, or right at the end of grade 11 in December, I decided to make a video game so yeah I was young I didn't know much coding but I did something so I thought we should look at that today I hope you guys enjoy this video because I'm super excited about it and yeah if you enjoy it please do give it a big thumbs up if you have any questions or comments leave them in the comment section and please do subscribe guys road to 22k <laughs> Up here and we're almost ready to go I'll minimize myself and maximize the game but yeah guys before we get into that I thought I'd share a little more background info and as I said this was in 2016 I was 17 years old and had just finished grade 11 so I wanted to be a game developer after I finished school and it was like December holidays I didn't have much to do so I'm like mm, I want to be a game developer so let me learn how to do some game development and I came across this book called unity game development in 24 hours and obviously, I was like, 24 hours, you know, you don't need to tell me twice, I'm already in. But it actually ended up taking me about like three to four days, which I think is actually pretty quick. But I mostly just followed all the instructions in the tutorial. So I used Unity. Uh, so Unity is a cross-engine platform where you can make games. So you can make uh, like mobile games, computer games, and so on. And yeah, and I also coded in C Sharp, which which was like the first and the only time I've ever coded C Sharp <laughs> so it was kind of a learning experience but yeah as I said I mostly followed the you know the tutorials from the book so it wasn't too hectic because you know they told me everything step by step but you know with coding sometimes you miss like a semicolon or something and things don't work so it was challenging but it wasn't as challenging as if I did everything on my own without like a tutorial or anything like that but yeah I can't think of anything else to say so let us get into into the game all right guys so as you can see here the game is called space blaster so it can kind of give you a hint about what's happening here but let us open it so yeah so the game is actually a uh, like a space shooter 2d game and nothing too hectic as I mentioned and as you can see zero zero design skills and yeah so this is the like home screen I just I designed so we just have this galaxy background and guys were we all obsessed with like galaxy printed stuff in 2016 let me know because I totally was but I just thought it was cool and then I added some text because you know you need some instructions when you have a game so we have here, we have welcome to Space Blaster. Shoot the asteroids and see how long you can survive. Move left and right and use the space bar to shoot. So pretty simple. So let's get to the game. So we just have a start game, exit game. It's pretty simple. And then you click on start game, let us go. So we have our spaceship. We have the asteroids. So, <laughs> it's actually pretty fun because I'm like, oh, I forgot I'm recording this video. I'm having a good time. But yeah, so this is how it looks. This is my game over screen. It just stops everything and says game over. And then we have the points there on the top left. And then we just have a restart and an exit. So if we restart, you can see. So, we can just click on. Ah! Okay. I feel like I can't multitask. <laughs> I cannot multitask. But yeah, so what happens is how the game works is you need to move left and right with your arrow keys to move the spaceship and then you press space to shoot. And I remember that I couldn't find nice bullets to use for like nice 2D illustrations 
bullets that were free to use so i just made these it's just a green rectangle that i just you know cre i just colored something green and then i took a screenshot and that's how i did it and then i have these asteroids and i don't remember right now where i got all these assets but i 100 percent remember that the book does tell you where you can find all these assets that you can use and then the screen is just like an infinity kind of rolling background so it's a scape uh the the spaceship is not actually moving it's just the background that's moving and it makes it look like the spaceship is moving and then we have the asteroids so the asteroids are set to randomly appear from the top of the screen they don't they just move downwards and then it's said uh that when they reach a certain point and they haven't been shot yet then the game is over and you can only miss one so yeah it's pretty simple there's not much else to say i guess my design skills could have been a bit better but i've never designed a game after this so i mean can i even say anything but maybe we should actually try maybe we should make a series and we should make a new game let me know in the comment section but that's pretty much it but also what i noticed here is that if you guys see when i shoot these asteroids they have to be shot specifically at a like a specific point or else you kind of miss it and i remember there was a lot there's a lot of physics that's involved in game development which is pretty cool guys like it's so interesting but yeah guys this is pretty much it for the game and then when you press exit it actually takes you like out of the entire game but yeah guys that was the game that was space blaster that i made back in 2016 it was pretty simple but it's actually kind of fun because i feel like after i finished editing this i'm like let me try and get to tell on this game because it's kind of harder than it looks but it's really fun but while also filming this i thought of a cool idea because like what if we make another game and like i kind of share my process and everything on this channel start a little series i don't know let me know what you guys think in the comment section and also maybe i should react to some of my other projects what do you guys think about that but yeah guys this was a little bit of a short video nothing too serious looking back in the past you know it's fun and it's inspiring to be like hey you know little me 17 year old me was like you know what i mean a game developer someday but look at me now like 23 year old me i'm a software engineer you know you know a little bit of progress we love to see it but yeah guys that is it for today's video i really hope you enjoyed it if you did please do give it a thumbs up please do subscribe we're on the road to 22k if you have any questions or comments leave them in the comment section and i'll catch you in the next one bye let's see if we can get to 10 oh no siri close siri I do it.